Welcome back crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am back with the last card in my card today in July series. Up until this point I have created 30 cards in the month of July and today I will be creating the 31st. First of all, let me start by saying I have had a whole lot of fun, but wow, the challenge I gave myself at the beginning of the month probably would have never finished completely if it wouldn't have been for the promise that I'm giving all 31 cards away to a subscriber. I really think I probably would have stopped about 10 days into it. So I am glad I made that challenge. I'm glad that I'm giving one of you the opportunity to win all of these cards. It definitely pushed me. I may not have gotten down here every day. Some days I had to make two cards or three cards. And one day I actually had to make nine. I knew that we were going to have some work done in our basement and I had to cover up my craft area. And here's what that looked like. So since I knew that that was going to put my craft area out of commission for over a week, I did have to get nine cards done in one day. But I am back today in my craft room. The work down here is all done and I'm ready to make my last card. For today's card, I'm going to be using scraps from the Sweet Blooms paper pad from Michaels. It's one of their newer Hot Buy paper pads, and I have used this for some of the cards this month. You might recognize some of the sediment cards or the patterned, but today what I thought I would do is just use up some scraps from it. So I found a pin on Pinterest, and I'll insert a picture of it here. So I thought I would try to go with something like that. So I already pre-chose my papers I'm going to use, as well as the sentiment. And since this has the gold foil accents, I'm going to use some scraps of gold paper, and then I'll be using white cardstock for my card base. The first thing I'm going to do is get my card base ready and then I'm going to get the piece of white cardstock ready that I will be adhering my pattern paper strips onto. This will be my card base. I'll fold it in half. For the cardstock that I will be adhering the scrap strips to, I'm going to cut that to, let's see, 3.75 by five inches. My gold foil paper I'm going to cut to four inches by five and a quarter. And then I'm just going to start cutting strips of these other pattern papers. I think I'll do three of each one. I am going to go ahead and leave the length just as it is because I'm not really sure how long they'll have to be now. And I'm going to cut these to half an inch wide. I'm going to be using a piece of the Stick It adhesive to put adhesive just all the way across the front of this piece. So what I'm going to do, which this is my first time using this, so I hope I figure it out right. I'm going to peel back part of the backing and put my piece of white just face down in the corner. And then I'm going to use my scissors to trim out right around that cardstock. And now I'm going to just put the liner back down on there so I can use the adhesive that's left on other projects. going to attempt to find the liner of the other side and peel that off. If you have any tips on how to do this, please leave them below. 
I got this adhesive because of a recommendation from a viewer when I was having issues with getting adhesive on the back of my die cuts. Now what I want to do is figure out what order I want my pattern papers to go in. Okay, that looks good to me, so I'll put those to the side. And then I'm just going to start with one of the patterns that's in the middle and just start my angle. So this is all up to me how I do it. So get the first piece placed and then just start moving down. I want to make sure that it's right up against the piece before it and then it that it covers from side to side that cardstock. And then once I've gotten all that complete, I just go backwards starting with the next strip of pattern paper. Now this one, since it's just a corner, I want to make sure that I choose what I want to be left on the card because if I put it here, it's just kind of plain navy, but if I move it down, then I get some of that floral on there. I'm going to flip it over and burnish that really well just so the adhesive's on there very nicely. And now all I do is just start cutting off that excess pattern paper. And my background is all ready to go. I'm going to adhere this to the center of the gold foil piece. The last secret word of the month is going to be harvest. I think I'm going to cut this card down just a little bit. I am going to be matting it with some more gold foil paper and I want more of the background to show. So I'm going to trim that down a little smaller. So now the card is two and a half by three and a half. So I'm going to bring in my scrap of foil paper and cut that down. Let's see if this will work. That is actually perfect. Two and three quarters and then just trim it down to three and three quarters. So now that the background is on my card front, I'm going to use some foam squares to put my sentiment on there. And just like that, the final card in my Card A Day in July series is complete. Now that I have gotten all 31 cards done. I will be back tomorrow with a peek at each of the cards and some final reminders about the rules. But if you are interested in winning this card and all of the 31 others, please visit the day number six video. I will pop that down below in the description and in the upper right corner now. So that's going to have the lowdown for you for now, but I will remind you of those in my video tomorrow, as well as, like I said, give you a little look at each of the cards again that I have created this month. If you're enjoying this series and you think you are going to 
and her to win, I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up. Even if you're not going to enter to win and you're enjoying the series, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope you'll be inspired to hit that subscribe button below and click on the notification bell. If you're a returning viewer and subscriber, as always, thank you so much for stopping back by. I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.